We're wrapping up Live's Health Check Week with important tips on lowering your cancer risk. Join us now with is WebMD's Chief Medical Officer, Dr. John White. Thank you for being here, Dr. White. Thank you. Great to have you. What uh, we, you know, cancer affects everyone. Yeah. I don't think there is a family, a person that alive that has not been touched by cancer. What should we look for? What should be our primary checklists? Yeah in general? Well, you want to have your own screening strategy, and it really starts with a family history. You want to find out what family members had cancer and at what age. 30% of cancer is genetic, the rest is lifestyle, but you want to start there. And if you're too shy to ask family members, you can do one of those over-counter genetic tests, and that'll give you some information. What if your family doesn't remember much? Yeah. <laughs> that, that is common or yeah. you know you mentioned FOMO and FOGO yes, there's right. FOFO I call fear of finding out yes mm -hmm. yes yeah. no. FOFO. so you have to probe a little you might ask you know be a little bit of a detective but that's going to tell you whether you're at greater risk what about families with uh, either uh, people who are adopted is yeah. there a way for them to <coughs> access that right. kind of data or it's, it's hard because of privacy issues mm -hmm. but that's where you go with perhaps an over-the-counter genetic test mm. or a test mm -hmm. that your doctor doctor can order. But remember, most cancer is not genetic. Got it. So it's these mm. strategies that we have to use. Okay, so then what? No. Well, I got to tell you, you got to make sure you get quality sleep. So that's what we were talking about before yeah. the break. Oh, we're goners. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're goners, everybody. Yeah. Quanti I, yep, yep, you got the ring. Got the ring the, to check the my Different sleep. apps. Yep. So think about it. What do you do when you feel sick? Got a cold, the flu? First thing you do is say what? You, I got to go to sleep. Go to sleep, yeah. You know instinctively that sleep improves your immune function. Mm. So how do you get quality sleep? We were talking about it. I hope you keep your room like a spa, dark yes. and quiet, you right? That? Spas are like that. Now, she likes the shades up. I want them down and dark. I don't know about that. Dark is better. That signals your brain time to go to sleep. That's right. No, yeah. but I am a morning show host, so my brain needs to yeah. know when it's time to wake up. Okay. All it right. It needs that light to yeah. tell me when it's time yeah. to wake up. You got to keep it cold. Yes. Typically 68 to 70 yes, degrees. Yes, Dr. That's White. That's the data Dr. shows. Dr. White, I yes. will die of Just frostbite. Yeah. I will die of you frostbite. Won't. We won't even no. have to worry no. about you my You know what sleep. you do? You put some socks on. It, there's actually data to support yeah, it. Yeah, you come snuggle up with oh, hubby. Cool. You got to remember to sweat as well. A lot of people are walking 10,000 steps a day. <laughs> but what I want you to do is exert yourself. You, oh. you gotta you get that, that heart. You gotta get that heart, heart rate beating yeah. out of your Absolutely. Yes. So that's gonna help. And you gotta choose an activity that you enjoy. We say typically 150 minutes throughout the week. That could be 30 minutes, five times a day. But you know what? If you can only do 10 minutes a couple times during the day, that's gonna be okay. As long as you get that heart rate up. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so then what? We've got fitness, we've got, yeah. we've got sweat, we've got sleep, we've got yeah. a screening. All the S's, you wanna examine your skin as well. And this is where you need a partner. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to examine your back and people try to do that and look in the mirror and see. You can't really examine your back. It's hard to look at your head and your scalp, your feet, some of those personal areas in your groin. That's where you need a partner to help hey. out. We know that skin cancer is very common. And you gotta look at your skin. I'm always surprised patients are like, why am I disrobing? Because every year <laughs> you should get a skin exam. And if you don't look- I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a, a screening later. <laughs> <laughs> he won't, he'll fall asleep. Yeah. Um, okay, we have to take a commercial right. break. When we come back, we're gonna talk about more cancer prevention tips with Dr. White. Don't you move. We're back with Dr. John White. He is uh, controlling our cancer risks here. Now, uh, we're talking about brushing our teeth. Yeah. Tell us about the connection between uh, lowering our cancer risks through oral health. Right. So gum disease basically is bacteria. And that bacteria can increase your risk of esophageal cancer, stomach cancer. Mm -hmm. So the key is to brush and to floss every day. Every single day. Every, I tell my eight-year-old every day. Mm. And is there a difference between flossing and water picking? You know, water picking is good too. Basically what you're doing in any of them, you're getting rid of the bacteria in between your teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. what's right. next? The yeah. other thing is be mindful of what you eat, right? Food is medicine, powerful as a prescription drug. So you want to decrease red meat, processed meats, all those salamis and pastrami's, pepperonis, 
Where do you put peanut butter and jelly on that scale? Is I that... put peanut butter in a good category, the foods you should include. Jellies are okay, but you still want to watch the sugar content, because I was going to mention you want to decrease all those refined grains, the white bread, the white rice, the cookies. What about coffee? Yes, Which we love is coffee. Food International food. Coffee Day. The yes. good news is that coffee and tea have these powerful antioxidants mm. that actually protect our DNA. Ah. So go oh. ahead and drink coffee and tea. What you want to decrease is alcohol. We know its relationship to the liver, but it also increases your cancer risk. The other big area <laughs> is about stress and meditation. Oh. What we've learned over the last few years is that cancer really is in some ways a disease of inflammation. Mm. So stress actually causes the inflammation that's not good for your body. So I've been talking to people about how do you reduce your stress? You have to recognize you can only control you. You can't control others. You gotta practice forgiveness. People are still mad at something that occurred 20 years ago. Practice gratitude. There are these gratitude journals that you write down. I wrote down that I'm grateful during a pandemic, that I've been able to have every meal with my family. I wouldn't have been able to do that. Mm -hmm. Schedule anxiety. Instead of doing it, what do we do? At 10 at night, 10.30 at night, right before we go to sleep, we're gonna review our day. Well, you know what? Do it at 3.30 in the afternoon. Get it done with and move on. There's Review data my day that suggests. at 3.30 in the yeah. afternoon. Okay, or four, okay. whatever's well, good for after you. After Judge Judy, you after, after, after Judge, Judge there Judy. There you go. But then I'm really all right. fired up. Yeah. <laughs> well then, and the final thing is, what's the role of vaccination? And find out which ones protect you. Mm -hmm. We do know that HPV, human papillomavirus vaccine, it's for girls and boys. Sometimes mm -hmm. people forget that. It's typically around 11 to 12 years of age. It protects against cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, as well as penile cancer in men. Great. These are uh, great uh, pieces of advice, yeah, great thank knowledge. You. Thank you, Dr. White. Ending our week of um, medical uh, health we tips on a high note because, okay. I, like I said, I think that this is the most important segment because cancer affects all of us. Um, thanks again for being thanks here. For you, Pick you. up a copy of Dr. White's new book, Take Control of Your Cancer Risk. It's coming out this Tuesday. Great, right. yeah. right. I will pre-order that.